Hi, I'm Andy Simon, and I've been with the principal clarinetist of the Hong Kong Philharmonic since 1988. And this is Rosie. And I'm so very pleased to be interviewing my piano collaborator, who I fondly refer to as my pianist, Warren Lee, who will be playing with the Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra this coming Saturday. Warren, we've been playing together for 20 years. Do you know which piece in our repertoire we have performed the most? You think it's Brahms, Poulenc, Debussy? What do you think? Well, we did do all of those uh, a good number of times, but I don't think any of those are, is our true war horse. Um, by my count, it's actually Joseph Horowitz's uh, clarin clarinet sonatine um, for piano and clarinet, uh, which we must have done over 20 times in a dozen different countries. Yes, we performed it all the way from Oslo to Tasmania. Now, probably most clarinetists in the world know of Joseph Horowitz than pianist because of his famous clarinet sonatine. For those who don't know, Horowitz is an Austrian-born British composer, 94 years of age, who is well known not only for his clarinet sonatine and other works in the classical tradition, but also for his score for Tarzan and other films and TV shows. So you're actually playing his concerto because of our collaboration. Yes, indeed, and I'm grateful for you to have brought me to, to him in London eight years ago to this very week, uh, just before we went to record all his clarinet and piano music. You remember that encounter? Yes, it was really terrific. We had met because I had recorded his sonatine earlier, and um, he contacted me to give me a list of things that he thought was wrong with it. So we decided to set out and do it correctly. And we went to his house and we worked with him. He was amazingly detail-oriented. Um, he had his metronome in hand, and the slightest difference was explored and discussed uh, at, all, at all times. Uh, I also remember when we got to the third movement of the sonatine, he said, now it's time for the jam session. And he said, Andy, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Yeah, I remember that. Great, well, tell us more about the piece. Besides the fact that the clarinet is omitted from the instrumentation, I can take the hint, I can take the hint. Well, it was written in 1965, uh, originally scored for string orchestra, and also features a bassist, a drummer, and a harpsichord, forming a concertino, like a jazz trio, but it also works equally well with the piano. Well, how does it work? It's a jazz concerto. Is it notated? Is it semi-improvised? Are there any improvisatory sections? As spontaneous as Joe's music is, he's a composer who's obsessed with details and control. In this concerto, everything down to the last grace note is notated, and Joe emailed me last week to say under no circumstances should any note be changed from the score. So in that sense, it's not pure jazz per se, but a classical work that showcases the capabilities of jazz. In his words, the concerto represents his desire to combine the use of the jazz language and the traditional Western classical music styles. It's this fusion of classical and jazz and Joe's superb ability to strike that right balance between originality and immediate appeal that has drawn me and us to his music. Well, we certainly look forward to hearing it live here in Hong Kong this Saturday at 3 p.m. in the Hong Kong Cultural Center, where we'll be playing Joseph Horowitz's Jazz Concerto with the Hong Kong Phil, with Maestro Leo Kwakman conducting alongside our bass principal George and percussion principal Aziz. Join us in this musical journey to America just ahead of Thanksgiving in the United States. See you on Saturday. Hey, actually, can you give us a sneak preview of the piece? Well, can I have my dog back? No. <laughs> <laughs>